Welcome back to AM Northwest. You want to slim down while increasing your energy level? Then stop cooking. It's really that simple. Instead of fuel your body up with raw foods, and here to tell us how, we welcome the author of Annie's Raw Food, Asia award-winning chef, Annie Peel. Nice Hello. to have you back. Thank Gosh. you. Good to see you again. Uh, this concept of, of raw foods, I mean, it's really catching on more and more it and is. more. It is. It's exciting. And, uh, obviously, with vegetables, we can think about that, but, but we think of that more as a snack. You're thinking it, it can be side dishes and, and complete meals, right? Yeah, uh, everything from wraps and soups and pastas and pizzas, anything. And what is everything. it that cooking the foods, what does it do that, that, that ruins it for our bodies? Well, cooking, heating basically lowers the nutritional value of the food. It also softens the fiber and we lose the water. So we want fiber because it's really great for cleansing our insides and then the water is great for hydrating us. So when we heat things up, we lose the water and then we, we soften the fiber. Um, you, you talk about one of the things that this is a great replacement for are some of these takeout dishes from Chinese restaurants. Yeah. Are, those, are you telling me those are bad? <laughs> they, they have their purpose, right? Yes. Like sometimes if we're too busy, but actually once we learn how to set up our kitchen for raw, it's actually much easier and faster. There's no cleanup. You'll see today, it's just fresh vegetables. You just cut them, you just assemble them. It's so easy and you just rinse and you're done. All right, all right. what are we making today? We're gonna make some nori wraps. I wanted to showcase nori because it's a sea vegetable, which right now with the radiation oh, issue fine. that we're having, mm -hmm. it's really wonderful. This is a sea plant that's full of iodine. So it works with our thyroid. It helps regulate our metabolism. It's been prescribed to, for weight loss treatment. It also helps with medi heavy metal detoxing because there's like mercury that we worry about in our waters. And then right now with radiation, it's great to combat. Oh, I, I think it just if your kids listen too much Black Sabbath. But okay, I, I, yeah. um, it's, it's like a parchment paper. Yeah, it's Very like paper. Thin. So this okay. is what they use in Japanese restaurants to make maki. Okay. So right, what are we mixing it with? So this is a pate that I made. It's literally processed uh, carrots and celery. And when with, you say processed, you mean in a processor? In, in a, a food processor. processor. Yeah. yeah, in a food processor with almonds. Carrots and celery. Yeah, and so this is sort of like our sticky that will help to hold together and our And are bowl. you adding into this any spices, any, or is it oh, all, all? It's ginger. Ginger, okay. Yeah, and would you like to put some avocado? Yeah. We yeah, could put a little bit of avocado on there. How much do you there? like on there? However much you like, so. Avocado, people think, well, avocado's got a lot of fat in it, but it's good for you. It's, good it's fat, actually right? really healthy, heart healthy fat. So you can just put like a sliver on there. Thank you. Oh, just perfect. a sliver? Yeah, you don't have to really, mm, okay, well, or like a slice. You don't okay. have to really mush it up or do, anything. Do you now see why I don't cook? <laughs> Well, yeah. you don't have to with this. Yeah, that's right? true. Right? So it's so true. easy. And well, you know, you really have no cleanup because that's my job. Yeah, because it's fun for kids, too, because this is all hand play food. I call right. it play food. Okay. And then we can just put on any... So now we're thinking about textures. This is all mushy. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to think about texture for the mouthfeel and the bite. So this is just julienne broccoli. We're going to put a couple strips of carrot. Would you like to put some carrot yeah, in yours? Yeah, let's do that. And um, uh, now... And then we could put some... Some cucumber. Very good. And so cucumber's like juicy. So we'll put some cucumber on here. And look how pretty that is. Look great. And then you roll it and up. And then we just roll it up from the bottom to the top. So you now, could do it as one sheet big, but oh yeah, this but way you don't have to slice it. This, it is, makes like, a little... this is like individual pizzas. Yeah, look how beautiful that is. It's like a little hors d'oeuvre. It's very nice. Now, uh, can you make these, like if you're having people over, you would make these Absolutely. in advance? And uh, would this be like a side dish to something else? Or? It could be. It could be an appetizer. It could be an hors d'oeuvre. It could actually be a main if you want it in and of itself as well. You talk a lot in here, too, about, about, about food pairings, which is nice. But also, what I was intrigued by this, uh, wine pairings with raw foods. Yes, wine and champagne are raw. That makes sense, yeah, yes. when you think about it. So what kind of foods would be typically good with, with a wine? What kind of raw foods? I mean, you oh, know, a any. carrot stick and a pinot doesn't sound right, but... <laughs> I think that you would just pair it in a very similar manner. So if it's something like this, my pate is basically a mock salmon. Mm -hmm. It looks like salmon, right? It so does. The, the carrot makes it orange, and so it has the ginger in it. So then I would pair this with like a pinot or like a white wine. What do you do for proteins? Well, proteins, believe it or not, this sea vegetable is almost 50% protein. Is that so, right? Yes. Yeah, so chlorophyll, dark green leafy vegetables, nuts and seeds. So this has almonds in it. So that's where we get our protein from. Also, buckwheat is a great low-fat way to get protein as well. Well, the book is fascinating and, and, and very, very nice to look at, too. And we love folks to know it's available in all the usual places. And we'll have this recipe on our website at katu.com. Thanks so much awesome. for coming in. Awesome. Thank you. We'll be back with more Amherst West right after this.